If you're enjoying this podcast, don't forget to rate and review. Every review helps us grow and reach a larger audience. Thanks, and enjoy the show. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Will There Be Cake? I am Amber... With me, <laughs> as always, is Robert. It sounded like you like forgot your last name for a second. <laughs> I am Amber. I don't remember, so yeah. let's keep going. All right. Um. Yeah, we're here. We're for here. Another episode. For still New Year. Still, still going strong. Three days in. Yep. 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 But what are we celebrating today? I hope it's something super exciting and fun, and I can't wait to get involved. Um. <laughs> Today is <gasps> National Drinking Straw Day. Wowzers. And you did. You blew my top right off. <laughs> my head. My You're top so, of my head. So excited and for this my, holiday. And my breasts. <laughs> <laughs> your breasts. <laughs> top of your breasts. <laughs> I meant what my a top, day. My shirt top. My what shirt a top. day. What yeah. a day. I feel like it's a weird day to celebrate because now we're like, we're in the era of banning drinking straws. Yeah, but this could be about metal straws. That's true. The recyclable ones. You're so right. Thank you. I'll be here all month today and Or just like the paper ones that you get here in St. Pete now. Paper, paper. Or Dunkin' Donuts does like, it kind of feels like plastic, but they break really easily. Dunkin' Donuts actually has one where you can get it. uh, It costs a little bit more, but they they spoon you the drink uh, with their hand. (laughs) The way your face looked. <laughs> they take your hand. They take a hand. They get one employee. He comes out. He just he spoons it to you. Like both his. He like that cuts it in his hand. Unhealthy. Well, he washes beforehand. I think they wear gloves now. No. Yeah. And then if you want an ice cube, they pick it up. No. They go suck on that for a little bit. Cold. And Starbucks just doesn't do straws. They give you those little sippy cup tops, which seems like more plastic. Yeah, and it's good. The way to make it not spill is if you hold it with two hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As our I always thought it'd be us. funny to have like a friend that like I always wanted to write it into a script having a friend that just drinks everything with two hands like he's still like a fucking kid. You should, you should do that. <laughs> I think I will for like movie night or something. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. Do it. Uh, I can Nick's character. Yeah, I should. <laughs> yeah, because Nick, our friend Nick, does that. <laughs> <laughs> he does do that. He drinks with two hands. Ever since he's had two kids, he does a lot of stuff. He also when he goes, I went to the bathroom with him one time, and he pulled his whole pants down at the urinal. <laughs> It's like, Nick, your ass is showing. Stop. Yeah. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> anyway, um, today commemorates the day. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. I would love to do that just as a joke. Just go into the urinal and just pull all my pants down like at it work. It has to be like when you're in there with like a bunch of people you know. Right. right. Like I would do I would do it at work. I would just pull down my pants and just stand at the urinal. <laughs> just see what Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Maybe on my last day at work I'll do that. Just for fun. Do it. All right. Sorry, Cheeks what are out. we? Yeah. Cheeks out um, for Harambe. <laughs> Was that, wasn't it? It was dicks out. Dicks out. Yeah. Anyway, um, it commemorates the day in 1888 that Marvin C. Stone received the patent for the paper drinking straw. Oh, it was paper to begin with. It was paper to begin with, yeah. Oh, and plastic. Um, and it's believed that the Sumerians used the very first drinking straws for drinking beer. Um, and oh, archaeologists yeah. speculate that they used the straws to avoid the solid byproducts of fermentation that would have sunk to the bottom. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chicks, wow. you owe me a beer. No. Um, the oldest straw drinking straw known to be in existence was found in the Sumerian tomb dated in 3000 BCE. And it was found, um, it was a golden tube inlaid with a precious blue stone. There's no way everybody had that. That had to be just for like the pharaohs. And yeah, shit. yeah. It was just like <laughs> the, the, the main people. guy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the Argentines used a similar metallic device called a bombilla used for hundreds of years and it acted as both a straw and a sieve. What's a sieve? Sieve. 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 S-I-E-V-E. I think it's just like the same thing, right? It's just uh, like a tube. Tube for what though? If it's not for a drinking straw. I'll look at it. Or is it like you stab someone with it? I mean, that's a 
That's a shiv. That's a shiv, <laughs> not a sieve. Yeah, I was trying to think. Of, wait, how do you spell S I E V E? That's right. Okay. A sieve is a utensil. Oh no, a sieve is a, a plastic mesh. Oh, that's weird. Uh, yeah. So probably just to like was. to take out to like separate things. So like I mean, but yeah, but all, your liquid it's kind of like a strainer. So yeah. it's like your your liquid's gonna go through, but it'll catch all the other stuff that you know all the other stuff that's in your drinks normally, like the ice. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the keeps you your, know. Yeah. I always run uh, my drinks through a, a strainer first because yeah. I don't like ice, but I refuse to <laughs> order it without ice uh, at the restaurant because I still want it to be cold. <laughs> It's fucking weird. Yeah. And then I save that ice and I put it in the freezer for later. I like ice and I don't. Oh, that's weird. I like <laughs> ice and I don't like ice. I, I like it until it melts and then it just waters down your drink. When I was a kid, I liked I liked crushed ice because then I could chew yeah, on it. Yeah, that's my stuff. favorite. Nowadays, I'm like, no, that stuff hits my teeth and then I just want to drink. Like I'm like swallowing like large chunks of glacier and I just want to drink <laughs> my drink. You know what I mean? Like so I now I either have to have a straw or I'm like, no, just give me the cube I stuff. I like crushed ice or um, the one that's like the little circles that are like crushed ice pushed together. <laughs> They're like super <laughs> like talking? light and fluffy, but it's like crushed ice. But you know what I'm talking you know, about? Like a snow cone? I, I, I f- who has it? Maybe like Wawa? Snow. Wawa has them. They're like little super light like balls of ice but they're not like hard oh i think i know what you're talking about okay cool yeah. thank you not not like snow though not like a snow cone no not like a you snow drink cone. everything out it's of a snow cone, cone right yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> the only like, way yeah. you're like if i don't have like a fucking pointy <laughs> can, pla- can paper i have cup? one coke snow cone <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'll take all my drinks in a pointy cup please <laughs> thank you i like it paper so it drips on me in about 20 seconds <laughs> That's how I feel about those fucking paper straws, though. They're <laughs> I, awful. Yeah, I know. I always like, I like when I get the paper straw, I open it, and right when I go to put it in the drink, it bends in half <laughs> and, like, breaks and, like, tears on the sides. I'm like, yep. oh, that would be great. I'll mm-hmm. be able to drink just a fourth of this before it starts pouring out the sides. <laughs> <laughs> Well, nowadays, manufacturers have made so many different types of reusable straws. The stainless steel ones, glass ones, bamboo, silicone, um, and they only save money, but they save the environment and they save the the animals. Now, if I have a glass straw, I'm probably not going to drink while I'm driving, like yeah, anything, really anything, idea. because I've I feel like- I've never used a glass straw. Because if you get in a car accident right when you're taking a sip, that thing's going through your, like- Right through your throat, <laughs> outside the back, like Final Destination style. <laughs> so if you escape death, don't drink glass uh, with a glass straw while yeah, you're driving. No. I like the I like the metal ones. Metal ones are cool. Yeah, they're really nice. I didn't really start using them until more recently because Adam's mom bought him like a bunch of them, and then, like so when we go get some fast food, we go back to his house and we replace the crap ass straws they give us with. Uh, metal ones and they're so nice because they stay cold it's like putting your drink in like one of those metal thermoses right. and like so the whole time you're drinking it it's like it feels so nice but is it like a full metal straw or do you like unfold it kind of thing like you it's know not an old fold unfold okay, one okay. no it's a full straw and it comes with and it has like a little bit of a bend at the top and it comes with a little brush that fits in there so you can clean it oh nice but there's i think it'd be cool to have one. like a unfoldable one so you could just have like a little tube and then you just go boom it comes out like like one of those old toys, and then you just slurp it. I'm sure they make some like that. I'm sure they do. Um, but yeah, I don't remember when the whole straw ban thing took place. It's recently, uh, it was in California, I think, first. Um, oh, it says, January 1st, 2019, a ban yeah. on plastic straws in restaurants and other service businesses began in Washington, D.C. Oh, it was D.C. first? Yeah. I remember California is a big but proponent for it. July 2018, Seattle was the largest U.S. city to ban plastic straws. Yeah. Um, Starbucks plans to phase out plastic straws by 2020. They already have. I just, but they, I think they still give them out. In, I'm pretty sure in Tampa. If you ask for them, I think they can still give them out. Well, I mean, yeah. Some it, places are like that anyways. But most places now, like any Starbucks in St. Pete, they give you a paper straw. Because I right. always get, like, I don't need a straw. I'm fine without using a straw. But I get uh, uh, macchiatos at right. Starbucks. So it's like, you know, cream and then coffee on top. So, like, I need a straw to mix it. Um... Let's see. McDonald's uh, announced that they're banning plastic straws in UK and Ireland restaurants. Nice. Um, Alaska Airlines was the first to phase out plastic straws in stirs. 
See, the thing is, like, a lot of people are getting upset by it, right? Like, they're like, this is stupid. I don't like the paper straws, all this kind of stuff. And, like, I get the frustration. Like, I, I get it. Things change and stuff. But the thing is, this is not This is just the beginning. Yeah, they're going to start cutting really out just, a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. Ketchup packets, there's no reason they need to be that small. They probably won't give them out that often. Like, yeah. they're going to make something different or a biodegradable one. The thing is, they got to start changing things because there's just so much trash <laughs> yeah. in the ocean right now. <laughs> Like the size it's of so what? Bad. Like the size of Texas floating out there? Like just a big island of trash? Like yeah. it's. Yeah. The else environment is awful and it's like plastic is really fucking. Eight million tons of plastic flow into the ocean every year. And yeah. the straws are only 0.025% of that. So yeah, this is really just. It's just, just, the, just the, beginning, the beginning, but it's like it. one of those things. So when people are like, well, this is stupid, it's not really helping you anything. Well, it's like, well, no, but they're going to get to that. Like right. they're going to keep going. And this is eventually. just like the easiest thing that. That they we can, can do without, right. yeah, yeah. So eventually, it technically, is... you don't really need a straw for anything. Even if you like no. were in a to-go thing, you could just get a cup. That, that's what they did back right. in the day too. That's like it's the just... sippy cups and stuff. Yeah, you, there's so many other options. The thing is, I think eventually, like they need to do more like perks everywhere of bringing your own cup somewhere. Yeah, like bring your own cup and like more perks and like local government and like citywide like. Yeah, like if for you companies less, that do it, yeah, yeah, like maybe I don't know. What well, it's they like do. it's like when they like smoke emissions and stuff, and you have to uh, keep it down below a certain smoke emission if you're like a factory or something like that. Right. Instead of doing, it, they should give perks and give tax, you know, tax write offs to if you meet a certain criteria or of less trash or whatever it is. They need to start doing that stuff because it's gonna it's getting too bad right now. It's so bad. And other countries are like. Especially like the bigger countries, like China, and I mean, they got like rivers where there's no life anymore. Like you can't drink the water or anything. Yeah, like it's, it's just bad. bad. It's so bad. So yeah, this is just the start. It's going to get worse if you're already upset about this. Yep. So get over it. Yep. Um. So it wasn't until the late 1930s that straws gained the ability to bend, bendy straws. Um. This guy was watching his daughter struggle to easily reach her milkshake through a straight paper straw. Joseph Friedman inserted a inserted a screw into the straw, wrapped floss around the screw's grooves, and took out the screw. Um, and with the indentations, the straw could easily bend without breaking. And then he patented his invention and created the Flex Straw Company to churn out his design. Flex Straw. Flex Straw. Bendy straws are fun. Or Do like you the like the bendy straws? straws? I'm, yeah, I mean, I like straws that bend. It makes it easier to drink. Yeah, I just like a, I like a straight straw. Because sometimes I like spill stuff on me because I'm a child. Weird. <laughs> well, then you definitely don't want a curly straw. I like curly straws. No, but you might have suck too hard in it. <laughs> like that's, that's, what it that's what it does sometimes. It's true. Psh, psh, ah. Ah. Just saying. Yeah. So, straws. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool day cool. to celebrate. It's such a cool environmental day, to celebrate. day uh, to celebrate. Yeah, bring it more like today's a day to celebrate. I think you go out and you buy a non-plastic reusable straw for I'm yourself. I'm going to buy a metal straw. Yeah. I'm going to buy a metal straw or stainless steel straw, I mean. And uh and because I'm buying one, finally buying one. I thought I had one before and I can't find it, but I'm going to buy another one. And uh because I'm buying it, I'm going to treat myself to a cake. Yeah, treat yourself to a cake for saving the environment. Yeah. I mean, it actually because I just got a new straw, like I'm gonna use that gonna, straw to eat the cake. I was gonna say, <laughs> just gonna slurp up the cake. I'll just use it like a fork for a little bit, and oh then once God. it gets too mushy, then I'll try to slurp it up. Wow! And I'll use that little brush to clean it out after. Wow! Shoop, 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 shoop. Wow! Yeah, I think wow. it's a cake day. Yeah, All it's right. definitely a cake day. Straw day, cake day. Straw day, cake day. Buy go out, buy some reusable straws, and eat a cake. Yeah. Solid day. Save the environment, guys. Yeah. One straw at a time. One straw at a time. Yep. All right. Thanks, uh, guys. Because if we don't, I mean, it's going to be the final straw eventually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>